I'm going to show you how to use the product option features found in cart flows. Let me show you what they are. Here I am on a checkout page and when I scroll down to where the checkout form portion of the page is, we have these two options that you can see here. And one of the options is the card layout, which you see here. So when a customer comes to the checkout form, you can present an option here where they can choose a plan. You can fully customize this, all the text elements. And what this is good for is giving your buyer an additional option of taking a plan where they might be spending a little bit more money, but they're gonna get more value out of it. This is one example. Here's another example right here, and this would be ideal for any type of consumable good product where when someone purchases it, it's only going to be good for a certain period of time and then they need to repurchase it. And here is what I've done in this one. So you can see right here is what the customer is expecting to purchase one for a particular price. And of course, we still have our quantity options. But what we're going to do instead is we're also going to just casually throw out a buy to get one free special offer. And so this is the same product that we're showing, but it's a different quantity right here. It's a quantity of one here. It's a quantity of three, but when they purchase three, we're dynamically taking off the cost of one of those items, essentially making it buy two, get one free. Here's the back end of that checkout step. And when I scroll down, first you see we have the multiple products selected. Now, whenever you add a product, now there's going to be options here to specify the quantity and any kind of a discount. Right here, you can see that I have the same product, but this time it has a quantity of three with a 33 and a third percent discount. Next, when you click on product options, you're going to see these products here as well. Well, and you can see there's additional options here to customize all the text elements that you saw. So right here where it says buy to get one free, I entered that in. And even that ribbon that said best value, I entered that as well. And even the section heading above it and where the entire section offer was is completely customizable along with the colors. But if you're anything like me, you learn better by seeing exactly how it's done. So let's to spend a couple minutes in creating one of these from scratch. So what I want to do is recreate this one from scratch. Here I am on the back end of WordPress and I'm in the cart flows options. I'll click on add new and here I'm going to choose the beauty product flow. I'll click on import. Now that it's imported, I'll add a name. I added the name buy to get one free. I'll click on update to save it. Now I want to edit the checkout step. So I'll click on edit right here. I'm going to scroll down to the cart flows option. The first thing to do is to select an existing product, but I'll click right here where it says create product to create a brand new product. It's going to just pop up the create a product option right here. So I'll give this product a name and a price. I put a simple name in body lotion. When we scroll down here, I put the price of $49.99 in. I'll click on publish. Now that my product save, I can click the X right here on the top right and then the product is created. Now I just need to click here where it says search for product and enter in the same name. I've entered the word body. Here's my product. I'll select on it right here. Now this is for the quantity of one, but I want to make a additional offer to purchase two and get one free. So I'm going to click right here where it says add new product and I'm going to add the same exact product. There it is. I'll select it. Now that I've done that, we have options here on the right. So when I click right there, it's going to give me the quantity in the discount options. I don't want to discount this first item, but I do the second one right here. I want to change the quantity to three. And for the discount, I'm going to put a percentage discount. And for the discount, I'm going to put 33.334, which is going to take the cost of the third item off of the total. I'm going to go ahead and click on update, but I'm not done just yet. I like to save my changes as I go along. The next step is to click on product options right here and then we need to check this box here to enable the product options. Here we can see the two products listed and when I click on the right arrow here 
to expand the options, you can see I can change the product name and I can also enter what's called a subtext. So if I go back to the original checkout, right here is the subtext and right here's the product name. So we can change all of this dynamically. Now the first thing that we need to do is enter a product name. I can put in anything I want or I can add this token right here where it says product name and I can paste that in. And if I also wanted it to show the quantity, I can copy and paste the quantity token in just like that. And that's actually fine for what I'm trying to do here. However, in this example that I gave you, it probably doesn't look good to have an X1 for a quantity of one. So it's better to just enter in the name that you want it to show and not show a particular quantity. Okay, for the first product in the list, I don't wanna add a subtext and I don't want to enable the highlight. So I'll go ahead and collapse the options and then in the one underneath it, I'll expand. So for product name, I'm actually going to do the same thing, but because I'm using a token for quantity, it's going to show three, which is what I entered in for the quantity of this item. Now for the subtext, I'm going to enter in the following text right here, which is buy two, get one free save, and then the discount value token. So here's the tokens that we have as an option here, which is quantity, discount, or a percentage discount. For me, it makes more sense to show the dollar amount, so that's why I chose discount value to show here. Now, I also want to highlight this box so it's lifted up. This is what it means when it's highlighted. You can see it's lifted up, it's in a box, and I can put this badge, and that's what I want here. So I'm gonna choose enable highlight right here, and I'll enter in some text. I entered in the word best option. Next, I wanna take a look at the product option conditions, and so for here, here, I want to let the user select one product from all of the options available. Next, right here, I'll go ahead and enable quantity in case someone wanted to purchase more than one bundle. Next, we have the section title. And if I go back here, you can see this is the section title I chose for this checkout. And right here, the section title I chose was choose a plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in or remove this your products and I'll put buy more and save. This is completely optional. The next is the section position. So by default, these options appear after the customer enters in their details. But for me, I wanna have it before the checkout at the very top there so someone can make their choice right away. Next, we can choose our skin, which is classic or cards. Once again, this right here is the classic design. This right here is the cards design. It's completely up to you what you want to choose. I'm going to leave this on classic right here. Lastly, you can show product images if you want. Now right here we have our design options, but what I'll do first is I'll just click on update. Let's take a look at it now and see where we might want to change a color here or there. Here I am on the front end and you can see I have my section title right there, which is nice. And I have this background color. I don't necessarily know if it fits right. And I don't really like this orange color right here. I might wanna change it to match my branding some. But we can see that the name of the products there, the quantity's right, all the text that I entered is correctly, and the correct discount is showing there. So let's try to customize this a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the product background color right here. Let's go ahead and make that white. And uh, let's just do a quick update and a quick check on the front end. Okay, that's looking really close so far. So I just really wanna change this orange color right there. So let's go back here. That's going to be the highlight flag and that would be the background color. So if I wanted to change the shade of that to maybe something to kind of match what I am doing, I'm probably doing a lousy job. I would wanna enter in a specific color code, but uh, this is gonna be fine for right now. I'll go ahead and click on update. I'll do a quick refresh and you can see the color just changed. The only other thing that I did differently on this checkout is, well, I put a matching color and I took that same 
color and you can faintly see it as the border outline right here. I think it ended up fitting real nice. And that's our product options enhancement in a nutshell. It's an ideal feature to enable on any checkout, especially if you're in drop shipping because the name of the game is to get someone to purchase more of the same thing. It's ideal in a course creator scenario, which I showed to offer an additional package that has additional training, but comes at a much better discount. But really, there's no reason not to enable this feature on every checkout that you've created using cart flows just to give someone an extra opportunity to purchase more or to get a better or bigger package with you. Now, if you're not currently a cart flows pro customer, there's never been a better time to get a cart flows pro license. All you have to do is visit cartflows.com. All the information is going to be right there. We have some really big features that are going to be coming out this year. We're so excited about all the developments that are happening and how people are taking this tool and earning a life changing income with it. So that's all that I have for you in this video. Thank you for watching and I can't wait to show our next feature to you.